UK secretly arms Ukraine, sometimes even through smuggling. The airport in Polish Rzezov has become the epicenter of the West's processes to arm Ukraine. The once commercial airfield is now surrounded by air defense batteries. This is where weapons are transported for Ukraine secretly and openly. As stated in the Sunday Times, the airport is guarded by patriots. They were brought there a few weeks after the Russian invasion. They were joined by Sky Saba, these batteries are here because Rzezov has, in two years, become a huge international logistics hub that helps funnel tens of billions of dollars of Western military aid into Ukraine. The Rzezov runway served about 100 passenger flights per week. Now, military and cargo aircraft land there. Military aviation activity has been increased by 167%, with British aircraft landing perhaps the most actively after those from the United States. Details of how Britain and its Western allies move lethal cargo into Ukraine remain classified, but Rzezov is a key hub. In monetary terms, Britain has been a generous donor, providing $5.7 billion in military equipment, the third most among other countries, behind only Germany and the United States. British defense sources compare the center, known as the International Donor Coordination Group, to the military Amazon. Ukrainian logistics teams efficiently scour databases to find the weapons they need while their Western counterparts get to work. British insiders say most British military aid is making its way to the Ukrainian border via two routes. Over the past two years, direct flights have transported millions of ammunition, small arms, long-range missiles and anti-tank weapons from the UK to Poland. Heavier weapons such as armoured vehicles, tanks and artillery are transported across the English Channel and transported by train across Europe. There is a third, less publicised way in which Britain is helping to arm Ukraine. While Western allies have focused on modernising the Ukrainian military and bringing it into line with NATO, Kyiv remains heavily dependent on Soviet systems and weapons, stocks of which quickly dried up during the war. To help replenish Ukrainian stockpiles, some of Britain's bilateral aid was used to purchase Russian weapons from around the world. This work was kept completely secret, partly because of who Britain was buying it from and who was supplying it. A lot of this is being bought in secret, one defence source said, noting that some of the weapons purchased have come from countries whose governments are eager to play a role but don't want the Russians to know about it. In some of these deals, the UK effectively acted as a smuggler, buying equipment and then helping to arrange its transfer to Ukraine. We have been approached by arms dealers, all sorts of middlemen and strange people. The supply of Russian equipment and other supplies from all over the world is carried out by many entities and routes, one of the sources said. A drone belonging to Defense Intelligence of Ukraine attacked the Voronezh M long-range target detection radar station located in the city of Orsk in Russia's Orenburg Oblast on May 26. Voronezh M is part of a family of Russian long-range stationary over-the-horizon radars. It is designed to detect space and aerodynamic targets, including ballistic and cruise missiles. This radar operates in the 1-meter waveband and has a target detection range of up to 6,000 kilometers. For the first time since the start of the full-scale invasion, Ukraine attacked facilities in Orsk, some 1,800 kilometers from the drone's launch location, according to the source. A Ukrainian drone has covered a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers to the enemy's facility, setting a new record for the range of destruction for kamikaze drones, source of Ukrainska Pravda said. 
Russian media claimed on May 26 that a drone fell in the Orsk suburbs in the Novorsk district, allegedly targeting a military facility. No damages or casualties were reported. Ukraine's military intelligence also struck another Voronezh radar in the village of Glubokiai in Krasnodar Krai on May 23, causing a fire at the facility, according to the source. In early May, another Ukrainian long-range drone hit an oil refinery, Gazprom Neftikim Salavat, in Russia's Republic of Bashkortostan. The drone, operated by the State Security Service, covered 1,500 kilometers to strike the target, a record-breaking distance for Ukraine at the time.